Okay, so today we are going to work a bit on the leg here and a little bit of the chest. And then before we do that, we are going to go ahead and um, do some embossing for the whiskers, our little indent tool. And I'm just going to make a couple, couple little ones. I say that and then I always make a lot. <laughs> but just a couple kind of get us the idea. All right, I think we got a couple on there. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take my kneaded eraser, and I have kind of outlined a bit of uh, the top here. So I have a general idea of where um, there's like a shadow right here in this corner. He's shadowed up through here, and he's a little bit shadowed up through there. <laughs> I'm probably going to start with, because this side, the because it is closer to us, and the way that this is focused is that we can see kind like some detail here, and then we can see detail, but it's very, it, not very, but it's fuzzy, but not as fuzzy as uh, or blurry as like the back of the neck here. But I am going to go ahead. This is my colorless blender. I'm adding it as a base so that if I need to, I can uh, scrape away a, a top layer of a darker color to reveal the under layer. So I'm just adding a bit of this. All right, I'm gonna stop about right there. I'm gonna take my a uh, cream color and I'm just going to gently start adding in some of our color so the shadows about uh, probably comes like about right there it's kind of a little pocket and I might even end up kind of gently shifting my I think my image over a little bit and or I think that's where I want my mat to be. I don't know. One of the two. So I'm not going to be going all the way to the edge of my paper. All right, I'm gonna go. It's basically the same thing. It's ish. The color, the colors that we are using are very similar to what we used in the neck. I know you probably can't see what I'm doing, but because uh, it's very light layers with very light colors. So I'm trying to get the effect that he's kind of fluffy. It's kind of like it's winter time. While still trying to pay attention to the flow of the fur. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. I need to fix my camera real fast. And while I fix that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to fix. <laughs> I just, I was like, why do I do that? Oh, I don't want to zoom. Nope. Uh, no zoom zoom. Go away. Thank you. Hello. Oh. There we go. Okay. I got my autofocus off so it doesn't keep doing that thing back and forth. <clears throat> anyway. So I'm going to continue to put in little fluff fluffs. These are kind of like my little guidelines. And I can start to gently map out the direction of some of my furs. So I don't want to go too far because I did not prep my whole area. So we're just going to kind of work in this little area, do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am also pretty busy this week. I uh, got a lot of horse stuff going on. Um, and, sorry, focusing. And it's like a four-day thing, and uh, I, I'm not showing. Though, you know, I wish I was younger and showing and doing all that stuff again. But one day I'll get the ponies back. All right, I feel like we've got a decent layer on. This right here is all like dark. Alright, so I got uh, a very basic uh, plan for down here uh, by the area by his muzzle. And I'm going to move on to. Oh, what color do I want? Where is my. What was this color again? Ooh, that's kind of red. I think I'm going to use my dark umber. I uh, and with probably Tuscan red and this really nice raisin color. I think I'm going to probably start with Tuscan red. I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to gently start adding in. I don't want to put too much pressure because I don't want to uh, overlap my little whiskers I made. But still enough that I can get uh, just a little bit of detail in there.
So what I'm doing down here in this area, I'm kind of making uh, like little mountains and valleys, I guess. Uh, the uh, like little triangles. And that'll help kind of give the illusion of uh, the fur down here. You can kind of see that it's like, I don't want to say stippling, but, uh, oh, what's the word? Kind of like as, almost as if the, the way you would imagine, imagine like drawing grass, like really short grass, but it's not green. And I hope that helps. <laughs> it's like drawing grass, but not grass, and it's just not the same color. But the same concept is there. Sharpening my dark umber. Now I'm basically picking a couple areas to add this dark umber, giving it a variety, because if I were to do it all over, it would just kind of look like a straight line. And I don't want it to look like a straight line. Even though it kind of is, it is a little bit. Come down here and darken this up. Add a little bit through our little points that we made earlier. All right, right here is where we also have, let me see, I want to get, I'm gonna use my colorless blender. I'm going to go ahead and add a little sliver layer right here because I want to be able to take off a little bit, make it kind of, uh, you can see these little bitty itty furs, and I just want to be able to kind of take my little knife and doop, doop, them away. Sorry if that <laughs> wasn't very descriptive, but that's, that's the best I got. So the hairs are very close down here, and you can't really tell a whole lot of separation between them. But now we can see that this connection between the leg and his muzzle has been made. Whee! All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so it's uh, very exciting when, when, when you're really starting to come along in your piece and things are kind of starting to come together a bit. I'm going to take my raisin color from my Dermot Chroma Flow. I'm going to add that in here. I kind of want a little bit of a red purpley color. Add it in. I think it would look nice. And we'll kind of gently fade that in onto this side as well. It's a bit more orange up through there. And I'm going to add a little bit right there. Whoops, sorry, I bumped my camera again. I got to, you know, stop burning into my camera. That'd be great. All right, I'm going to grab, where did it go? I just had it. 
Oh, my watch told me I just burned 2,050 calories today. How many steps did I take? Oh, wow, 12,049. We'll just call it 12,050. Might as well. I did walk a lot today. Where did this color go? I just had it. Are you hiding? Are you in my hand? No. You're hiding, aren't you? I'm looking for my burnt sienna. Yes, I found it. Okay. I'm basically gently trying to blend out some of my colors with the burnt sienna. Not too harsh. And now we can kind of gently, gently connect our elements together. I'm basically kind of doing uh, a little bit of a glaze over some of the previous colors I already have down. Alright, now that I feel comfortable with some of my colors I already have, I'm going to, with this area, uh, right beside the nostril here, I'm just going to keep working it in. And we're starting to kind of get a little bit of a neck area. I'm going to take my light brown, light umber. And add in a little bit uh, of our values in with that. Focusing on some of the areas that already kind of have marked.
think we're starting to get our shadows in there. <laughs> Taking my light umber through uh, the next little section down here. Just a little bit. All right, now I'm taking my pumpkin orange. And I'm just kind of picking a couple ear areas. <laughs> Here and there, so I about said areas instead of areas. I about said areas. Starting to get some nice contrast in there between all the different colors. Going to take my powdered blue here. And there's this little itty bitty space right here. Kind of right on top of the arm. Just a little bit, just a little line. Kind of helps distinguish between the chest and the leg. Also gonna go ahead and put it here before I forget. And he has a little bitty one right here, kind of was along the edge of that. Go ahead and de-erase that. I drew some funky lines on his leg. <laughs> I'd like to go in I don't know if I'm going with my sepia or with my dark umber. My se sepia. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with my sepia. Give it a little bit of a sharpen. Ooh. Sorry, my, I am. Oh, I walked so much today at work. I am a bit tired. And my back is like, go lay down. I'm like, no, I want a color. I just want a color.
this is kind of purpley down here, I do have to say. Might end up putting more of a purpley color, some reds and purples down this way, actually. Sounds like a brilliant idea. I have my black raspberry color. Oh yeah. And probably a little bit of uh, violet. A little violet never hurts anybody. Is this my blue violet? Oh yeah, my, or my violet blue, sorry. That's looking nice. I'm uh, taking my black raspberry again. I'm going over a couple more areas. Because I'm slightly now addicted to this color. Just a little bit. And yes, I'm adding a little bit of it back in to the neck there. I want, looking for my dark umber, but I'm looking for the hardcore, hardcore dark umber. And I found it, I'm giving it a little bit of a sharpen. And I want to add a couple little fuzz fuzzes in there. I'm going over our blue purpley color that we made with the dark umber. It's also, I'm kind of also using it as like a blender as well. 
kind of help mix the two colors together. All right, now that I feel like I got that, I did actually get me a better uh, knife tool. I got a ceramic one, so it shouldn't be as rough on my paper as the metal one. And I just taking off a little bit. I might go over that area a little bit with uh, a orangey color, and then this is what I really wanted to do as well, was make little fuzz fuzz. Sorry, booped my camera. Just booping away. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, I definitely would like to have. Ooh, maybe this gold. The gold, either gold. Ooh, or the. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, we're gonna lay down the gold. And then we're going to lay down the pumpkin orange. And we're going to go ahead and put in a little bit of the actual orange orange. The orange orange. Adding it a little bit more throughout. This horse is very rich in color. I'm thinking of a color I would like to use, and my brain can't think of what it is. Ooh, I think it's this chocolate color. And I'm going to use my cream color. And gently soften things up.
don't know if I want to take my dark purple. Well, that's happening. I'm taking my dark purple. <laughs> and I'm adding, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm adding a little bit more shadows. Here and there. Taking my dark umber. Basically that will help add, like kind of, I guess, dial down the like purpley effect and add more of a brown color in there. Because I don't want it to purple. I want purple horses. Alright, and then one last time with the burnt sienna. And then let us zoom out a little bit. That'll kind of help visualize the whole piece instead of focusing on one itty bitty little section and not getting too obsessed with it. And I will re-focus my camera. Just give me one second. Put it back to auto. There it goes. So uh, this video is probably a little bit shorter than the other ones. Uh, I just know that once I start doing uh, this leg here, it'll be very hard to stop. And like I said, I'm tired. Um, I just gotta know when to stop. And sometimes doing a small section and appreciating the small section is more worthwhile than trying to power through so sometimes if you know if you need a break but uh, hey we did get I mean like look like I mean look how far we've come and this is what part nine? Oh, please don't quote me on it I can't remember these parts it's either part nine ten or eleven one of the one of the three <laughs> anyway enough about me ranting I will see you guys on the next part hope you guys been enjoying and following along and I'll see you then. Bye.